Hey everybody, Scott Kelby here. Happy New Year to everybody. And I want to start your year off right. I want to save you maybe $1,002. Okay, so here's here's what the story is. So uh, yesterday I get a text from Brad Moore, actually last night, and he says, hey, have you seen this article on Resource Magazine? Now, I love Resource Magazine. They're awesome. I follow them on social. You should too. They're 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 great. They really have a great magazine, a great site. They're, they're awesome. And it's about this new, well, it's called, here's the name of the article, The Best Lighting Modifier That No One Knows About by Zach Sutton. It's a very well-written article, very, very good. Uh, I thought it was also very honest and in, in many cases. And it's about this Profoto light right here. Well, not the Profoto light itself. It's about this modifier called the Profoto uh, Small Spot. And uh, the whole, it shows lots of examples, but this is what it does basically right here is uh, this, this, it's like a snoot and it allows you to carve it right over the area you want. So you get this nice bit of just like a hint of light, right? And they have a couple different examples he put. In fact, he showed one of my Favorite shows here, The Man in the High Castle from Amazon Prime. There's the same kind of look. So anyway, but that's basically what it's about. He shows a couple different examples. And he goes on and on. And by the way, let me just say this about Profoto. Their lights are awesome. They're insane. They're built like a tank. It's why all the big pro rental houses use them. Love Profoto. Love Resource. Nothing about these guys. However, like they say here in the article, which I thought, I thought, uh, Zach did a great job on it, and he was very honest when he said, it's, it's way overpriced <laughs> for a, well, I don't, I don't want to paraphrase him. Let's get his exact words here. So what did he say? The Gobo kit is overpriced, premium price tag, premium price tag, it's $1,002. <laughs> okay, now, it's probably the best snoot or best small spot ever made in the history of all of them probably is. Uh, it'll. He even said, I believe, that it'll work on other lights like he tried. I think he tested it on an Alien B. So it's not just for pro photo stuff. But what Brad said is, dude, why don't you go show people how to do it in Photoshop? And I'm like, well, we can get pretty close in Photoshop. So I'm like, okay, let's do that. So that's what this is about. Let's go ahead and jump over to Photoshop here. I grabbed a photo. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this using the polygonal lasso tool or if you're really a nerd the polygonal lasso tool and here's what we're going to do we're going to start kind of up here uh, it draws a straight line right by you know default and then when i get to her nose here i'm going to hold the option key on mac the alt key on windows and i'm just kind of kind of trace the contours here a little bit it switches you to the regular lasso tool if you look at the cursor you can see and then i'll release the option key and kind of go straight back up and then i'll hit the option key again so I can kind of follow the contour. That's kind of what they did in that other image that we saw, right? Now, we have to soften the edges up, right? Or it will be it'll look too funky. Now, if you looked, I looked at the photos that they showed from the pro photo, and they had a little bit of feathering to them. Not The edges were not real hard. And they weren't real soft. So I'm going to go with about a 7. So I'm going to go into the select menu under modify to feather, and I'm going to choose just 7, which is a... A small amount of, of, and if it's not enough, we'll go back and do 10, but I think 7 is okay. This is not that high resolution of the image. All right, then we only have two steps left. One is to go into the Select menu and choose Inverse. So it selects everything but that area where the beam was. So that's kind of what they had, this part of her face. We're going to go and inverse it. So now it's we've selected everything but that beam. Now we're going to go image adjustments and we're going to go to levels. You can do this with levels. You can do this with curves. You can do this with camera raw. Pick your, pick your favorite. And what I did was this. And in levels down here at the bottom, there are these output levels. This, this, this one here on the left brightens and this one over here on the right darkens. So I'm just going to kind of drag this over to the other side like they had it where you could barely make out her features something like that click OK and it's you know it's kind of the same look there I mean it's not dead on the money but you know it's a thousand two dollars still left in your pocket so anyway <laughs> that's that's how we're starting off 2017 and and uh, I don't mean anything bad to of course resource or Zach or pro photo um, I just, you know, Brad thought, hey, you ought to show how to do it in Photoshop. And hey, I, I, I just did. So anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I want to wish you guys the very best 
2017. I hope it is your best year yet. I hope it is filled with love and laughter and tons of great images. All right, we'll catch you guys later.